Hello everyone and a warm welcome and greetings from Maven Consulting Services. Today we have Akshata Ganji. Hello Akshata and uh, with great pleasure it's nice to see you back in India Thank and you. I understand currently you are pursuing your masters in information technology management from the Illinois Institute of Technology at Chicago. So Akshita Ganji is an alumni of Maven Consulting Services and uh, she went to the US to pursue her masters in information technology management from the Illinois Institute of Technology at Chicago and uh, she's completed three semesters if yes. I'm not wrong yes. and uh, the best part is uh, she's bagged an internship as a business intelligence engineer with CCC Intelligence based in Chicago. Yes. And that was after your three semesters. Yes. So that's fantastic to know and congratulations Thank to you, you on that. Much. Thank you. Sir. So in today's uh, video, what we want Akshata from you is uh, to discuss something about as a student, how uh, one should be prepared to look forward for life in the United States, a student as a master's in the United States. Of course, a lot of apprehensions, anxiety in terms of internships, jobs, curriculum, course. So we would like you to share certain uh, things about your journey and uh, how it could motivate or what students of the future who are planning in to go in this fall or maybe in the future semesters should ideally you know think and be prepared for sure. and uh, for for the benefit of our viewers she would graduate in the december of 2024 and she's already currently holding or pursuing her internship with uh, ccc intelligence solutions in chicago and uh, i should also congratulate akshata on you i got to know that uh, you held positions of teaching assistantships for two semesters yeah at IIT Chicago and that was amazing Thank you. and you uh, tutored undergraduate students yes. in subjects of advanced database and web application yes. foundations so we would also want viewers to know on how did you get that and a lot of inputs on it sure so sure. if you're ready uh, we can just go ahead and uh, first ask about how is the course of uh, masters in information technology management at IIT Chicago Sure. Uh, so I'm currently pursuing a specialization on data analytics. Uh, so I have the option of choosing my own subjects from semester to semester. There are few mandatory courses like advanced database, web app foundation, which are really required and also data mining. Um, I would say that those subjects really help me to gain the required knowledge for the industry. I have also the option of taking optional courses like artificial intelligence and um, service oriented architecture which will equip me uh, for the industry. Yeah and coming to my master's experience, I started my master's in January of 2023, that is spring. So yeah initially when I had the apprehension of how I will survive what will happen, uh, how will I adjust to the new country. Like any student. Yeah, like any other student. That is common. Uh, but as soon as I reach there, I try to figure out uh, my way out. Um, yeah, one thing I would mention is um, prioritizing is really important in an, an, an another country. So here we will be pampered by our parents. We, we wouldn't give much importance to our personal True. care. But whereas when you go there, you're completely on your own. You have to own up your things and you have to take that responsibility. It, it becomes really important for you to prioritize tasks. And uh, um, I try to avoid procrastination okay. as much as possible. I had this habit of procrastinating when I was back here because I was pampered by my parents. So obviously, yes. Yeah, but whereas when I go there, I realize the value of time. That is the major thing. Uh, I would say that academics and uh, personal care is really, it, it, it's like an overall development which you undergo in your master's. So uh, instead of telling that master's is only about academics, I would call master's as an experience. It's an overall experience and it trains you in a perfect way. True. And what was your bachelor's degree in? Uh, I did my bachelor's in computer science. And which college in India did you do your bachelor's? From Dhananth Sagar University. Okay. And then you thought, uh, did you work 
before your uh, before starting your masters yes, yes. Okay. i worked for about one and a half year with accenture okay and then uh, decided, yeah, to decided to so did that masters. make uh, things change a lot for you compared to students at your batch who were freshers coming into the program yes uh, so it, since that since i had that work experience um once i start my internship or um, when i was the teaching assistant so i had a way on how to approach professors and um, how to uh, give interviews okay. i would say that is really that's important. very important yeah okay if you have Excellent. experience so now how do you maintain a balance between academic responsibilities and personal life specifically in the united states yes as i already mentioned that uh, prioritizing is really important um, we need to know what things has to be done in what time so um, over there we are uh, given a deadline for assignments and over there time is really very important if you do not submit your assignments within that time frame you might lose marks or you might be even given a zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it is really important how well you um, organize your time schedule. Um, but I, with that, it's also important that we give importance to our personal time, self care. True. True. So within my day day frame, um, in the first semester, my college used to be uh, around in the morning time. So I used to come back, cook, and then. Um, Make networking. Okay. Networking is really important. Um, I used to give time to my friends. After that, uh, whatever assignments were there, uh, we used to discuss and then uh, go about with our own assignments. And one more thing I would mention is, uh, if it is group assignments, discussing is good. If it is not, owning up to your own assignments is really very important. important. The rules and regulations over there are very strict. In terms of plagiarism. Yeah, plagiarism, okay. yes. If they find out that this you are... This has been a copied yeah. material or an an outsourced material Malpractice or, or anything, okay. um, they really don't... Very serious yeah, consequences. very serious consequences. Okay, okay. And are there any ways for international students to gain practical experience, be it from part-time jobs, in internships you know to manage their finances because finances is a major concern for more, most of the international students maybe because uh, the tuition fees is coming in from the educational loan but for their monthly uh, month to month expenses the living expenses how are students managing or how did you manage and what was it like yes so in the first semester i had to take it from my education loan so uh, during my second semester, I got the graduate teaching assistant. There are many part-time jobs within the campus, within the campus that has to be, um, that are offered for the students. For that, I would say that networking is really important. So from our seniors, if they refer us, we, uh, get, we jobs can faster. get jobs faster. And seniors are helpful? Yes, they are helpful. Um, for me, they were really helpful. Okay. Uh, the graduate teaching assistants and all, uh, it depends on the professors. True. They select it. So, uh, how I got the job was, uh, there was an application that was sent out uh, within the breaks. Department. Okay. Within the breaks. So, based on our GPA, GRE, uh, overall factors. They so, that means the GRE is also crucial when you're applying for your teaching yes. assistantships yes. and research assistantships. They ask the GRE as scores. well as IELTS course. Okay. Yes. So, they form a crucial aspect. Yes, they do. Okay. Because there are a lot of students who come now and tell us that uh, the GRE is not required as a part of the admissions yeah. criteria. But then this is a very important yes. thing that you brought up saying that, you know, uh, when they're applying for their teaching assistantships and research yes. assistantships, if they're asking in for that, then it's always better to have it on cards so that they can use it when they're applying. Yes. Because going there and then writing it, yeah. or they might True. lose out on the assistantship yes. opportunities. True. Yeah, please go ahead and tell me how you got the internship and stuff. So, uh for in USA, internships are available for international students after con completing two consecutive semesters. Okay. So, um, consistency is really important in applying. So, it's not like we get on-campus uh, placements and all. We have to apply, we have to own up things. We have to apply through LinkedIn and various job portals. So, there are job portals yes. which... And does the university support for this in any ways? Um, uh, there is a separate career services that uh, department which has been allocated by I think each university. Okay. So if we go to them and approach on how to tailor our resume and how 
well we can confidently present ourselves they do help oh wonderful yes okay. they do help but ultimately it's on you yeah, to look out for us. options and opportunities yes. and craft them okay. and uh, th- as i already mentioned consistency is really important in applying and uh, we have to try to make many networks as much as possible as uh, already mentioned like part time jobs in, on campus even for internships if you have referrals the chances of getting interviews are more more okay yes uh, otherwise then it's job portals and networking yes. that's the yes. primary thing that everybody yes. has to focus on and how early should they start this networking so right after i would say right after they start their masters the, the day yeah. one they land yeah the day one they land as well as i would say that uh, they can um, up, start applying once they reach their second semester okay yeah uh within because after second semester is when we can you have the summer yeah, break and that's when you ideally want ideally to ideally want to ideally we can start our start internship. internship so uh, once we reach our second semester uh, we can start applying and every day for me i applied about around 20 applications every day every for day you were submitting in about 20 yes. applications okay yes and not just applying it has to be quality applications yes, as well yes you have to make sure that um, you you have mentioning uh, correct summary no everything okay, okay. and so you're very important. yeah and you're trying to bring yourself up okay. from the other candidates okay. because it's a obviously it's it's yeah. it's a big world out world, there and yes. it's very very competitive so until unless you stand out from yes. the other applicants uh, the calls may not come yes. in and uh, you said there were 20 applications going in every, every day, day and that phase must have been very very yes. uh, difficult and a kind of a nightmare yes. for you okay sounds interesting now uh, coming back to part time jobs that the students do on campus with the money that they get from that um, will they able to manage their living expenses Uh, if it's a shared accommodation yes. and people are staying together and they want to cut down the cost yes uh, yeah we can maintain our uh, monthly rent for me uh, in chicago the monthly rent i sh- i stay in a shared accommodation it comes about uh, 500 usd so, and what all does that include um it includes the rent. monthly rent and the utilities, utilities. okay and um about electricity bill everything is separate separate yeah so whatever funds i get from college it goes correctly into my monthly rent that's from yes. your teaching assistantship teaching that assistant you get job. okay but um each university differs yes. and their pay scale differs yes uh with graduate teaching assistant one um lucky thing i would consider myself uh, getting is um, they waive off my one subject course fee oh wonderful okay so that really helped me maintain my expenses um, no uh, see you were very fortunate that you got a teaching assistantship yes. i'm talking about normal student yes. on the campus so they're just doing a part time job 20 hours a week and they're making some money out of it will that help them sustain yes they would definitely help uh, it would definitely help them uh, cover their monthly expense so the pay scale will be about um, it depends from state to state obviously yes um, so if if i take about iit chicago so what's the bare minimum there's a weight scale and stuff i would say 13 usd 13 usd yeah. that's pretty good yes so if it's about 20 hours 20 a week hours then a week, they should be able to should. manage it yes. so what kind of jobs are ideally available uh in my college uh, there are students working in career services department there are students working in um, the college canteen there are students working in um, library um each and every department there are students working in the um, sports department oh, oh wonderful yeah okay. so we get chance that is based on how well we network and True. present ourselves so you mean to say for part time jobs as well we need networking yes. otherwise it becomes yes. difficult uh so there are a lot of uh, introverts who are not very very expressive yes. outgoing and this is something very new to them yes. they go to the US and um, they they're not good at networking so what are some tips and suggestions you would give such students um i would say that once they reach US or uh, once they're into any other country any other country once they uh, reach for their masters 
um, it's important for them to um, express themselves because even during my internship interview or anything uh, it is important for us to bring ourselves out um, it is important to network with people be it their own roommates they can ex they it is very important that you express yourself what you want what is your necessity otherwise yeah, they are left alone and left alone. nobody would come yes. to help them so the 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 major takeaway here is uh, whether they are introverts or extroverts until and unless they express themselves and they seek out uh, yeah seek out I think the opportunities people, yeah people will not readily yeah. come and just knock on your yeah. door is what you're trying to you, say uh, i would say that we have to ourselves uh, Take knock that initiative. on the opportunity nobody will come yes. and uh, you know help you with all of this that's wonderful so now um, you're going to start your internship and i'm sure uh, you've worked past here in india with accenture and stuff and all of that so what are actually employers looking for out of graduate students when they're trying to recruit them for internships or postmasters when they're recruiting them for opt and stuff so what is it that employers are really looking at uh, it is the skills it is the skills which candidate pursue um, it is really important to have skills like not just um, theoretical knowledge you will have to build on projects and um, try to impress uh, the employers based on your work you have to show showcase that how capable you are that you will be fitting into the right job okay yeah so for me i also underwent many certifications uh, and i did projects in tableau so my specialization was data analytics and and i wanted to pursue a career based on data analytics so you did a lot of certifications yes, um, apart from your regular curriculum regular and curriculum. projects also projects so i was briefing through many um, course portals like coursera i did a course on tableau and uh, tried to showcase uh, tableau uh, desktop and tableau public i i published my works on tableau public and also linkedin okay. linkedin forms a really yes, important yes. Um, website for us to showcase our um, projects it will be visible for recruiters and also i would suggest that uh, students can publish their work in github okay that GitHub. is also important okay um, so these are some of the websites that should websites, really be working yeah. towards uh, publishing their work so that things yes. get a lot more, more easier visible for, visible, for visibility and having said that uh, once you're shortlisted how does the whole interview process takes place with the employer so over there it depends from company to company few companies have aptitude test in the beginning like india okay whereas few companies have um, uh, around five to six rounds of interviews okay. for even an internship okay uh, for me i had about three rounds of interview uh, the first was screening round from the hr the second was uh, a technical round so over there i was presented with two panel members one was the um, technical uh, manager whereas one was the hr and um, one more was um, i think uh, it was the uh technical lead lead okay yeah technical lead so uh there were questions for me based on my experience more um and what all experience projects at accenture you're talking about no experience at how um, i completed the courses oh, and what i learned okay. from the courses uh based on the projects Project. which i showcased yeah there were experiences uh there were questions based on my accenture experience as well okay uh yeah even that forms an important factor on your past experience but what i would say is how well you present yourself uh, initially even i was nervous when i was giving one or two interviews but what i see from those rejections were how uh, so you did have rejections yes i did have okay. rejections um in about one company okay uh, it depends like one company rejected me based on telling that uh, they didn't have budget True. and one based on um um uh, the role okay this company i had uh, set my goals that um i'll have to do i have to outcast Somehow, yeah, yeah, yeah outcast my work correct yeah i had about about 2 to 3 weeks of preparation Giant. time uh, then i uh, approached the seniors okay who were in the same field okay uh, 
I asked how can we um, really can leverage we or prepare prepare on the interview and um, what work might impress and not just impress how can we showcase our um, uh, work yeah projects so in those two to three weeks I did about two two or more couple of projects I published them on and all these projects are done on your own. And then you publish them on yes. this GitHub and stuff and all of that. Uh, yeah, I also showcase the group projects which were done with um, your batch my mates. peers okay. in my uh, university. Whereas for the interview, I specifically did about two to three separate projects, uh, seeing YouTube videos, the course that are. Uh, website okay. and everything I would say that really helped me wonderful that's very nice and now uh, coming back to uh, you know your college life at IIT Chicago so how did you manage the whole thing there because it's been three semesters up so what do you tell the incoming students what should they expect in the college life how different it is from the Indian education system and uh, because the structure there I believe is completely different and sometimes uh, students are taken aback that in yes. in a more positive way yes. and how, how how is it different so one thing that was uh, shocking for me or which was surprising for me was that there are evening classes as well so uh, the classes might be and it completely depends on the professor from subject to subject of uh, the grades so for example um, for advanced database management um, the A grade was about 90 score oh. and um, the weightage for midterm there will be midterms uh, in each semester so the weightage for midterm as well as final projects varies from professor to professor and a uh, few professors try to give um, an, a theory exams okay. whereas few professors try to um, grade you based on your projects it might be group projects whereas it might be individual projects so um, I would um, suggest that uh, I would tell that students can um, get to know that uh, it differs from the Indian education system because in Indian education system it's all fixed. Yes. It's like uh, it's set by a certain board. But True. Whereas over there it completely depends on the professor. Professors. Few so a complete free hand is given to the professors yes. how they want to structure the course and how they want to conduct the yes. exams and stuff and all of that. Yes, it completely depends on the professor. Whereas few subjects um, it might be uh, two classes in a week. Whereas for few subjects it might be one subject at a stretch in, during the evening time okay. so uh, it's not like a fixed college time it differs from time but that's from day well to day. well uh, early intimated yes. to the students yes so and also uh, the course registration over here we try to um, the the subjects are fixed within the board true whereas over there we have the liberty to select our subjects true and when we are selecting for the subjects as well uh, we get to know the timings and um, uh, uh, the everything is well planned yes. and structured it's all online okay. I would say it's all online uh, one more thing I wanted to tell was uh, uh, yeah the registration so for a certain subject there might be only few seats available okay so the timing of how fast you register how quick really, you are yeah. realizing that that's a course and do uh, university professors or your advisors at the university help you what courses you should be choosing yes. or it's completely on your call no uh, it it they do help they do so help. there are faculty mentors allocated for each student you can uh, set up a meeting with them and um, they'll ask you what your passion is what you want to be and um, what career path you're choosing so based on that they'll suggest you can take their suggestions okay so yeah. there is a guidance provided yes. and then students can probably yes. take okay so now um, I think we've gotten a lot of insights on the whole journey and uh, stuff and all of that what's one thing that you like the best of the American education system and one thing that you really hate about it uh, one thing I like about the American system, education system is the liberty. Uh, there is no like fixed timings. Uh, you can walk in 
and um, you can approach professors it's not like they gr they grade you based on your uh, only performance or anything it's how well you communicate with the professors and uh, how much you involve in the course involve in the course work you have the liberty to, to approach professors without any fear or anything which is predominantly very very evident here in the indian education yes, system the where fear, they are even scared to talk to yes, our the professors yes the fear is not yeah. there okay. so uh, the professors try to make you really comfortable they are really friendly with you uh, they treat you like their own age okay and what's one thing that you really hate about the american education system um one thing i hate would be um probably the lenience again okay yeah. because a lot of them would misuse it yes okay uh, there are a lot of people when i was into undergraduation uh, when i was uh, teaching the undergraduate students there were many students who were uh, taking it very lightly very lightly uh, and uh, there were students who were asking for extra marks oh okay so so that also happens yes that also happens but as a teaching assistant i have to um, there are certain rules and regulations okay. and i have to abide by that oh wonderful so within your boundary is what you yes. have to make sure that everybody is yes uh, what do you miss from india the most um i would say the actually i would say the fixed time okay. line The that's what you miss from line. india yeah. okay that's fantastic to know so now uh, what is the most important thing that the incoming students should really keep in mind the moment they land in the us because now uh, we have in august the fall 2024 students immediately you know reaching the campuses and stuff so what is some useful tips that you would give that you felt that oh this was something that Uh, I really faced trouble with, but then those tips might help our incoming students. Yes. So as soon as I landed over there, I didn't um, exactly know the importance of on-campus jobs. So probably if I had approached my seniors uh, within the first sem uh, first week of landing, um, I would have probably uh, gotten into any on-campus job faster. Faster. Um, So I uh, took it lightly in the beginning. I was like, let me just settle. Let me see how it is. So I would suggest uh, the incoming students to uh, try to connect with your seniors from here itself. Uh, there is many job, uh, many portals like LinkedIn where you can search the students from that specific yeah. university. They can get in touch yes. with, and I and think also, uh, they also have Facebook groups. If I'm not yes, wrong, yes, Facebook groups as well as uh, there is uh, groups within the university. They try to like uh, the Indian Students Association or the International yes, Students Association, International Students stuff. Association okay. and stuff. And they can which, reach out to them, and they can yes, you you can reach out to uh, your seniors when you are in India. and you can try to get to know more about your university and how um, well how faster you have to be for the registration and the campus how can you campus. give us some inputs on accommodation that's a major concern yes. for most of our students how do i find accommodation even before i leave, reach us and where do i look for and the lot of them are say that the shady scenes happening uh, landlords you know how, how genuine yes. they are that's a major concern for most of the students yes so uh, for me as well i did not find an accommodation before reaching us so once i landed i had my um, I had my cousin staying. I had my friends. You were fortunate, but everybody yeah, doesn't have yeah. a cousin staying. Yes. So for such students, what is that you would tell? Um, there are various groups, WhatsApp groups that are available. So try to contact your seniors and try to get to know um, what kind of accommodations are available. For me, uh, for in Chicago, it's all apartments. For IIT, uh, there's it. It was about twenty minute walk from my accommodation. Um, Whereas from university to university, it, it differs. Yeah. It differs. So uh, it might be an individual house where you are sharing with with five, six people. There Is that be, legal? Uh, if everyone are on lease, it's I, legal. Okay. Um, it is really important that when they are signing in a lease, what are some of the important things that the students should be really careful about? When you are signing the lease, uh, you should be sh uh, sure that your the people you are choosing. 
they are genuine. Genuine. Yeah, they are genuine and trustworthy. Trustworthy. So there have been many incidents in US where uh, they they have faced roommates issues where people just barge out yes. within half of the month, and the expenditure entire house expenditure comes falls out. on you. Yeah. Theft. Theft. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> there have been many cases where uh, your personal belongings have been stolen. Stolen. So I would say that no. who you are moving in with and if possible i would really suggest everyone to sign on lease uh, until you know you would know until when you would need your accommodation sure. uh and based on your budget see if you if the shared accommodation works or if you want a private accommodation but the private accommodation would be turning More. in expensive yes. so always a shared accommodation shared accommodation i would prefer i mean uh for me shared accommodation always worked work. out yeah okay okay So that's uh, some very valuable inputs, um, Akshata. I think uh, for the benefit of our viewers, if somebody is going to IIT Chicago, and uh, if they get in touch with us, uh, can we share your email sure. ID? And uh, if any sort of help is required, would you be more than happy to yes. assist with that? Yes, I would. For the incoming be. students, if yes. anything specifically for IIT Chicago, because you are in Chicago, you're going to do your internship there, and you've studied three semesters already there. So if somebody wants any sort of help, you know, uh, I think uh, we would be much obliged if yes. Uh, yes. somebody is requesting to connect with you. Uh, we will definitely only uh, share the email IDs uh, with your uh, permission, sure. so that you know if anybody. needs any sort of help in terms of the initial days if they have to know about the city the transportation the campus or accommodation i think those are the initial worries that most of the students have thank you akshata thank you so much it was a pleasure that um, you were in india and you caught up with us and we could do this and uh, we'll definitely keep in touch with you and we wish you all the very best you. for your future and i hope this internship gets converted to a full time thank opportunity you so much. and uh, we would be more than happy to be a part of this journey thank you thank you yeah. i would also like to make uh, make a special yes uh, thanks to rajshekar sir and my counselor was kiran sir uh, it uh, maven has really helped me to uh, shape my future um, i was worrying about my visa everything but uh, everything was uh, really smooth because the of, pleasure is ours because of maven yes thank yeah. you thank you so much and these words coming in from you really motivates us to keep doing better and better yeah. every year thank you so much akshata thank yes, you yes thank you yeah. thank you so much